Hey guys, it's the girl Maya. So I wanted to do um, a little update vlog. Also, whenever I do these vlogs, you know that then the next few days, um, usually the next day, um, I will start um, uploading react videos because I'm going to start doing some reacts tonight. Um, just to have some that I can edit because I um, haven't been feeling um, 100% like uh, just because um, work has really been killing me. I mean, it's been really tough. Um, this was the first day that we were finally back in the warehouse, um, which is just, that's my element. That's where I need to be. Um, it's just a lot um, easier for me to, you know, be back in the warehouse. Um, but yeah, so I haven't, um, I've just been really tired and just been wanting to sleep and yeah, so. But always wanting to bring you guys, you know, the stuff you wanna see. And um, I will say this again, um, because I know I'm going to get requests over and over again, um, but I'm just going to tell you guys that I will not be able to react to something you request unless you provide the link for it. I am starting to get an amazing amount of um, uh, attraction on my channel, I guess, um, which is more people asking me. Um, I'm doing a different variety of uh, bands. Um, I'm just exploring um, the universe of Japanese music, mostly metal, rock, um, but I do love the pop, uh, the synth, uh, techno, just anything, you know? Um, but, um, yeah, I just get such an overwhelming uh, request for videos, and it's just a lot easier for me to, uh, yeah, just to click on that link and save it to my watch later so that I won't forget about it, because um, 9 out of 10 times I will forget about the requested reaction and I won't think about it when I'm um, setting up to do my reacts for the day or for the next few days because it does take me a few days to uh, completely um, upload my videos and I do kind of like doing that pattern. I feel like it might do a little better for my views because I'm not just uploading them like boom 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 boom. Um, I think um, giving them a little time between. Um, it's kind of helping a little bit. Um, yeah, I expect a lot of rambling in this video. It's okay. <laughs> um, <clears throat> what else was I going to talk about? Um, yeah, so, um, yeah, just, I need links <laughs> to be able to react to videos because I like to make sure that I'm reacting to the correct video and also my memory is very bad and the best way to me, for me to remember uh, what videos you're to is to have it in my watch later. So I'll be like, oh yeah, that one. So it's that simple. Um, <clears throat> but I'm sure this message won't get to some of you because I wish you guys would, but uh, a lot of people who watch my React videos do not watch my vlogs or any of my other videos, um, which I encourage you to do uh, just because you know, there's more to me than just the reactions. Like, that's what really gets me the views. But, like, I want you guys to get to know me so I can get to know you because, like, you know, this whole point of my vlog was to have a platform for myself. But when I really started doing it, I started to, like, really fall in love with my viewers because people that would sit here and watch me talk about nonsense, um, I just automatically am gonna love you so uh, it just kind of was like okay this is something totally different than what I thought you know I thought this was just gonna be for me um, but I have apparently um, affected some people and you know I have lifelong hopefully watchers now um, that I love so very much some of them I'm on like a first name basis with and I love you guys so much uh, your comments mean everything to me um, yeah um, so yeah expect uh, within the next few days some react videos um, don't know how many I'm gonna try to make as much space on my phone as I can um, but yeah there's 
other stuff I was going to talk about, but I'll remember in a second. Um, I know it'll jog my memory. I talked to my old friend who's my best, my absolute best friend ever, Evan. Hi, babe. I love you so much. Oh, my God. Uh, we haven't talked in a while. It's just, you know, life uh, is life. And um, you can't always stay in touch with people. And, um, and that just makes connecting back with that person that much special, you know? So I'm very excited about that. Also, um, I'm going to feature him in a video. Um, he's going to do a react with me. Um, actually, I just thought of this, but I wanted to do like try not to laugh challenges, but I actually would like for him to react to Baby Metal or, you know, one of the bands, probably Baby Metal. Um, but I think that would be really cool because I've been wanting to do reacts of like my family and friends, but uh, most of my family don't want to be in my vlog and I don't have a lot of friends so <laughs> um, the fact that he was like oh my god yes let's do that um, is just amazing um, and it's gonna be so much fun I cannot wait to do it um, been wanting to do collapse for a while but it never worked out um, with some youtubers uh, but who knew that my collab would be with someone who's not a youtuber but he is absolutely amazing. You guys will love him. Um, he's just, he's my best friend. And literally, um, known him since, I don't even know how old we were when like, well, it was when, okay, so I was probably like 10 because um, that's when I started riding the bus, was when I was 10 years old, when I went to uh, fifth grade. Um, I didn't have to ride the bus in elementary school because the elementary school was in my neighborhood. And we knew each other, but we weren't like friends. But then <laughs> he started dating my best friend and uh, we became best friends. And you know, he's now a totally gay man now. And um, my best friend at the time was a woman, um, not the most feminine woman. <laughs> That's terrible. I don't want to drag my old best friend, but um, yeah, that'll get a laugh out of Evan, I'm sure. Um, but yeah, I'm just very happy I got to talk to him and his mom, who's like a second mom to me. She's wonderful. I love her so much. I love them both so much, and I get to see them both this weekend. I'm so excited. It's great. Um, you know, I talk about it. I don't have friends, but it's just that I, I don't know. I don't really consider them friends. They're a legit family. Um, to me and also like I have one more person that I can think of in the top of my head who is my ride or die and that's my friend Felicia and I can't wait till she comes back to uh, Tennessee and I get to hang out with her because she's wonderful as well but yeah that was another update um yeah um my heart's broken but it's okay um because you know sometimes guys ghost you and that's okay <laughs> but sometimes you'll be at work and you won't be paying attention but your mom will um and a guy will walk in and he'll smile because he sees you and you don't notice because because you're stupid and um so when your mom tells you later you feel really good about yourself so there's that um, I'm a little scared because this guy at my work uh first of all I do work with him and that's that's a whole thing. Um, second of all, he's a bit younger than me. He probably isn't older than 21 and I'm almost 28. So that scares me. Um, I have a bit of PTSD. I'm using this in a silly way. I'm not being serious that I have PTSD, but um, he used to work at a hotel and I got a huge crush on this guy who, um, I was 23 at the time and he was 18. Apparently to him, I was an old lady because he thought I was super gross. Like he'd be talking about me. Like, I mean, people would tell me um, when other people would talk about me and these people who were telling me that these people were talking about me were also talking about me, but it's, it's whatever, dude. Um, but yeah, he was just like saying, why would I like her, you know? And um, there's all kinds of rude stuff. And he really honestly wasn't my type. I didn't think he was that cute. But um, 
I had been I have been single for a long time and he was the only um, prospect in my area so um, yeah so I ended up quitting that job and months later got a message from him and I just totally ignored it because I'm like you know I I could, you know, I could totally be like, you know, I didn't really like you. I, uh, you were just the only one there. <laughs> that sounds so bitchy, but it's true. Um, I don't know where I was going with that story. Oh yeah, my PTSD. I'm not serious about it. <laughs> um, of younger men because, um, apparently sometimes they can have an issue with it. I don't know. Um, I don't know what his reaction to me being almost 28 would be. Um, a lot of guys his age would be like, oh, hell yeah. But there's also like, you know, he'd be afraid that I'd want to like jumpstart a life and, um, have a family and kids and shit like that. But that's like not my scene at all. Um. <clears throat> like one day maybe but with all this shit going on in the world there's no way I'm bringing a child into this world and I can barely like take care of myself um I can take care of my cat and that's hard so um yeah no plans to have a child in the near future um yeah um don't know why that came out of there but um well I guess because that's what a younger guy would probably be afraid of of an older woman who is childless um, that they would think oh well she wants to start a family well not all women are like that I am very unconventional and I don't want to live my life by some little picket fence um, fantasy that is just not for me you know um, if I had gotten married and had kids I wouldn't be able to do the stuff that I'm doing now I wouldn't have made all <laughs> made all the mistakes that made me the person that I am today, um, you know, so, um, I wouldn't have been able and would not still be able to be there for my nieces and nephews who, um, just, they see me as a big kid because <laughs> I play with them and I feel like if I had a kid, it would, like, change me for them and they're so important to me, like, um, I can't even like explain how important those little freaking ankle biters are. They're not really ankle biters anymore. They're growing up so fast. Oh my goodness. A lot of them are like going into high school and I'm like, no, I can't. <laughs> you used to be babies. Um, and the youngest two are, uh, well, not the youngest two, the young the youngest two girls are going to, um, kindergarten this year so it's like oh my god but I do have a nephew who is only like a year old and so there's that um um but yeah that um that was kind of like just like a reason like like there's lots of reasons why I don't want to have kids but one of the big reasons was that I feel like it would take away the bond with me and my nieces and nephews because I don't know I don't know what it is um it's just a bond that, um, I just love them so much. They're like my best friends. They're just, when I am around them and I'm playing, I actually do like <clears throat> feel like a little kid again. And it's fun. Um, it's kind of funny. <laughs> my cat, my mom yelling at my cat, my cat yelling at my mom. It's yeah, pretty much. Um, <clears throat> I remember at my nephew's birthday, um, I was in the bouncy house. I was looking out around and I was seeing, you know, um, people I had grown up with, um, my age, uh, you know, sitting, acting like adults, kind of acting a little, a little boring, you know? Um, <laughs> and they all had kids and, you know, and I'm in there and I'm in the bouncy house and I'm just having the time of my life and I'm like, I love how my life turned out, has turned out. I love this. Um, I love being like the female Peter Pan to my uh, nieces and nephews. Um, my brother, Justin, is the actual Peter Pan, because <laughs> he's a guy, <laughs> to um, his, we have different sets of nieces and nephews because we have different siblings. It's a, you know, Brady Bunch situation kind of thing. Yeah, you know. Um, 
I'm making myself so, so thirsty. I'm just babbling about stuff. Um, I'm just in a really good mood. Um, I was going to make uh, vlogs anyway, but my best friend contacted me and that just really lifted my mood and I got to talk to his mom, my mom number two. And that's, it's just, I feel really, really good right now. Um, I love them so much. I miss them. I can't wait to see them. Oh, there's another problem, <laughs> because I suck. There's another problem with this guy at work, <sighs> is that I don't think he knows that I like him, um, because when I like someone, I'm really kind of mean to them. I don't mean to be, it's just that I don't want them, it's cra this is going to sound crazy, I don't want them to think I like, that, they, that I like them, but I want them to, yeah, that's, I'm like a child, um, I don't know, it's just, what if I'm wrong, <laughs> you know, like, what if immediately when he hears the words 28, he's gonna be like, you know, but I can't worry about it, um, if anything is meant to happen, then it will, um, I don't want to give up on um my little uh casper the friendly ghost because i've known him uh almost as long as i've known my best friend evan um and it's hard to let go of but i just feel like in the end i'm just gonna get hurt again um i always do um he's ghosting me again and yeah it's uh not looking too good um I'm getting pretty fed up with it. Um, I made a post. Um, I would make passive aggressive posts to him on Facebook years ago. Um, but there was one that was like, you know, you'll, you'll come to me one day and you'll, you know, you'll need me and I won't be here. And I'm starting to get like that. Um, I do care deeply for him, but I also care deeply for myself and um, my mental health and my happiness and seeing myself happy um, and knowing that I'm actually feeling like I'm okay, like my heart's not broken to the point where I want to like jump off a bridge or something, you know. I have other things in my life that make me really, really happy like my music and, you know, singing and stuff like that. So, um, I think I can do it. I know, I know I can do it. <laughs> um, I just, I don't want to be like him though and be, and just let go of a person, which he hasn't technically let go of me, um, because, you know, he still messages me and stuff, but it's like dangling me on a string. So it's not very nice. It's not fun <laughs> um, I'm not asking for marriage I'm not asking for a ring on my finger I'm just asking for some honesty um, um, uh, practice what you preach you said a lot of or he said a lot of things that don't add up with the fact that he's ghosting me <laughs> so uh, maybe something's going on in his life, you know, and I gotta respect that, and that's why I'm just backing out, oh, off from it, you know. Um, I hate to talk about it in a vlog, but I will mention no names, so this is a nameless person, so whatever. Whether or not he watches it, that's up to him. Um, I personally don't think he will. Um, I think he's pretty much done with me, or at least that's how he's making me feel. Um, but again, there's a big difference between someone who ghosts you and someone who walks into a room and your presence makes them smile. It's like, you know, <laughs> um, and yeah, I f sometimes I feel like maybe I should meet someone new, but I don't want to put myself out there, especially on a dating site or anything like that, because that's so dangerous. Um, 
I don't want to be alone. I'm okay with it. I know that I can do it. I know that I can survive. I know I'm a strong bitch. Um, but it's nice to have, uh, it's nice to have sex, first of all. That's just, um, facts of life. Um, even though I don't want to have a baby, my body does. <laughs> um, or my body wants to do the act that makes babies, but, you know, it's not going to happen. <laughs> Um, and I just, I do enjoy companionship, um, I enjoy having someone that I can, you know, love and cuddle and stuff like that and be cuddled back, but I do have a cat, <laughs> you know, I can't do sexual things with her, obviously, um, I guess I could in some strange world, but I'm not into that, sorry. Um, Funny story, this just reminded me of a really funny story. Um, one of my favorite, uh, she was called a counselor, but I guess she was like a psychologist or whatever. <clears throat> and um, she was asking me like my sexual orientation. And I was like, I'm bisexual. And sorry. And she was like, okay, so you don't like this, you don't like that. And she was like, okay, so you don't like animals? And I was like, uh-uh, no. And she sat there and told me <clears throat> why she has to ask that question. Because someone did come in there and tell her that they were into animals. Obviously, she didn't give any names because that would be against the Hippocratic... Whoa. <laughs> that oath. <laughs> it would be against that. Um... But yeah, that was interesting because I was pretty young then, so I didn't really know a whole lot about stuff like that. I didn't really know like that people were actually like into it. I thought it was just like a joke, you know, <laughs> but there's actually people that do that and that's animal abuse straight up, straight the fuck up. That is raping an animal. That animal has no way of consenting. That animal does not want it. I promise you that is just horrible. How did I get on the subject of people fucking animals? Oh, God. <coughs> <coughs> and then I talk myself into a coughing fit. I don't have coronavirus. I have marijuana. I don't have COVID-19. I have THC-420. I don't know. Oh, that was kind of cute. In a creepy way, like in a clown. Like if there was a clown statue that looked like this, I would buy it. Oh yeah, with the tongue sticking out, yeah. <laughs> I don't know, I am high on life right now and I want to thank my best friend for calling me today and making my day and spending so much time doing this vlog. It's really, it's only been 23 minutes but it feels like I've just been talking for on and on and on. My throat is like really scratchy. I know it's because I've been smoking weed and I know it's because of allergies. I know I don't have the coronavirus. <laughs> Even if I did, like I wouldn't get tested. I'm not down for that. Like honestly, I'm afraid that they would like take me away to some like secret facility or something because I'm highly suspicious of this whole coronavirus shit. <clears throat> As we all should be. It's strange. Um, by the way, what the fuck is up with them canceling the SpaceX shit? Like, I know it's because of weather, but still, what? At the last, like, few, like, it was like 10 minutes till the launch, and they're like, oh, canceled. So, what the fuck is up with that? Um, but yeah, whatever. Um, most people or the two people that I talked to about it think that it's going to be like a challenger situation. And that sucks. I mean, it really could happen. The fucking government's fucked up. Well, I mean, it's not the government. It's Elon Musk, but he's kind of fucked up. Gave his kid a really fucking weird name that I can't tell you because I can't say it, but I know that it ends in A12, which sounds like the name of a cyborg. Mm-mm. That's not normal. <laughs> she's, 
she says as she wears a normal people scare me shirt. Fucking love it. I fucking love when I contradict myself for everyone to see. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, I guess I'll go and do some react videos. Um, I pretty much have topped myself horse. <laughs> um, I love you guys so much. Oh, sorry, I had to burp. <laughs> Daisuke Matane.